About one and a half billion people on Earth depend on the sea for their primary source of protein. I'm not gonna go to those people and tell them to stop eating fish. But I do believe that we as consumers have the responsibility to confront the footprint that our, our consumer habits are having on our planet. And when it comes to looking at seafood and, and fish, a lot of the things that we eat and are used to eating are really doing terrible damage to the earth and to the ocean. As a consumer buying seafood, decisions can be difficult. What's sustainable? What's not? We decided to go to the experts. Greenpeace has been working on sustainable seafood since the 1970s, and the Monterey Bay Aquarium has distributed 40 million of their seafood watch cards over the past 12 years. We try to spend most of our energy not in direct consumer education, talking to people about good fish, bad fish, better fish, but doing that kind of interaction with someone that doesn't buy a pound of fish a week, that buys 100,000 pounds of fish a week. Targeting the major suppliers of seafood seems to be working. The biggest change we've seen just over the past few years is major retailers and food service and restaurateurs making changes and sustainable seafood commitments in their areas. It's become part of their overarching corporate sustainability initiative and it's tremendous because they've made commitments to source from environmentally responsible fisheries and fish farming operations. Seafood became a focus for the company about I'd say five or six years ago. Uh, it took some time and some study and some understanding to to build um, our awareness and, and uh, to get a, uh, a, a better idea of, of the right path to take and the things that we should be doing. We first have to identify where sourcing uh, of sustainable species and, and sustainable fisheries, improvement uh, fisheries that might under be undergoing improvements. Uh, that's taken some time. The 2011 Carting Away the Oceans rankings resulted in Safeway taking the top spot out of the 20 retailers that, that were analyzed. And uh, a lot of people found this really surprising. I ran Safeway through the methodology three different times to make sure that, that those numbers were right. We don't practice our, our programs to, you know, to please Greenpeace. We do it for ourselves and for our customers. Um, the getting the number one rating uh, from Greenpeace is, uh, is, is very nice and we really appreciate that. We recognize we have a long ways to go also. Am I surprised? I guess not really. But I also think that they're not done. I think that uh, we're gonna see some more impressive stuff from them. Safeway may have a long way to go, but so do individual consumers. We need to ask the right questions. Just ask, is it farmed or wild? And where is it from? And then you could use your app on your iPhone or your Droid, or you could use your Seafood Watch Pocket Guide to figure out if it's sustainable or not. But do ask questions, because even if you don't get an answer that you're looking for, at least you're sending a message to the business that this is important to us as a consumer, and you'll be surprised how many of these businesses are responding. Right now, our appetite for seafood is harming the planet. But we, we can use that appetite to make the planet healthier, too if we know how to use the tool.